Deutsche Welle reporter Birgitta Schüke reviews video material shot at the Turkish-Syrian border. She and her crew spent a week in the war-torn region. She sees the terror, but also the courage in the faces of the people there. For me, it's also people who these are men and women that have made a conscious choice to save themselves and to forge a better life for their families. They're strong in spite of all their misery. And that's something I try to show in my reports. The plight of Syria's refugees hits close to home for Schuke. When she was eight years old, her family decided to flee eastern Germany. They split into two groups and took turns crossing the border, hidden in the trunk of a car. Schuge remembers her family's struggle. They were open opponents of the regime. She knew from a young age she wanted out of the GDR. The children always asked when we were going to leave. When at last I told them about our plan, it was the night before we left during dinner. And they let out a huge sigh of relief and said, well, it's about time. The most difficult thing was to say goodbye to my father and my siblings. We all knew what was at stake. If we were found out, we'd be sent to a children's home. Our father would go to prison. My father told me no matter what happens, whatever they tell you, Know that I'll always love you and I'll never rest until I get you back. Yeah, then we got into the car. She climbed into the car's trunk together with her brother. The rest of the family came over a couple of hours later. They risked everything, but they made it. They started a new life in the West. Schuke was at this cafe, sitting with her friends, when the wall fell on November 9, 1989. It was around 12 o'clock when someone stormed in and yelled, the wall came down. And everyone thought, who's this guy? But he wouldn't stop. Then the waiter turned on the radio and we heard Bornholmer Straße was open. I got goosebumps. I thought, what's going on? We listened for a moment and then I said, come on, we have to get to the wall. Large crowds of people were already crossing over to the west. But Schuke wanted to go in the other direction to see the country she had left behind. I went over the day after they opened the wall, and I got a little lost in East Berlin. On the one hand, everything seemed really familiar. The smell of coal, the trabis. On the other hand, I was scared. What happens if they close the border again and I'm trapped here? Birgitta Schuke experienced firsthand what it's like to live behind a wall. And that has changed the way she sees the world.